For people who have seasonal allergies, tis the season right now, right? But my next guest says we all have one allergy in common, and that's our body's immune response to the toxins in our environment. He is Douglas Mulhall, and he's an environmental specialist who wrote a book entitled The Nature of Longevity. And Douglas joins us right now. Douglas, it's great to have you here to talk about such an important topic. How are you? I'm great, Paul. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. I think this is so interesting because I don't know if we have many studies um, that link or compare the environment to how long we live. Where does this info come from for you? That actually is a great place to start. There actually is a, a fairly large field of study on it. It's called Epic Genetics. Actually, I call it epic genetics. It's the scientific name is epigenetics, and it's the study of the relationship between your environment and your genes, and how your environment affects your genes uh, and your, your your longevity. So it is there, but it hasn't been on the public radar at all. You're quite right. And what I'm doing with the book is to translate that into people speak. Yes, people speak. Let's plus it because I think a lot of us. I happen to be a cancer survivor. I know a lot of other people who have all kinds of you know have had these uh, devastating health diagnoses. And sometimes a doctor can never tell us how we got it. And so we do tend to blame the environment. Oh, it must have been something. Who knows? I was exposed to as a kid through the air, the water, the my food. Am I on the right track here about this stuff? You are on the right track, and the reality is, and a lot of people are going to be a little surprised to hear this, is we all are a bit allergic to our environment. It's, it's the nature of the relationship. It's the nature of longevity. It's the nature of our relationship uh, with our environment. And the real question is, you know, why does, why does this happen? Why would, why would nature make us that way so that, uh, you know, we're slightly allergic to, uh, to our environment? Well, are we talking about toxins? Like, I think right away people go to things like you know pollution and uh, you know and, and uh, chemicals in our water and in the you know in the in the ground in the soil. Is it that? Indeed, that is a big part of it. And the interesting thing is, it's been with us ever since humans have walked the earth. Mm. Uh, a lot of these so-called toxic metals uh, that we're talking about today that you know are blamed on pollution, which is correct, but they have actually been with us. Uh, forever. They're naturally in our environment, they're in our soil, they're in our water, and uh, they accumulate. They're called bioaccumulative. So it starts from the day you're born, and these metals uh, get into us, and they start to accumulate uh, in our tissue, and this is what provokes this very low level, hardly discernible in most people, uh, immune response that continues for the rest of your life, and it's one of the reasons why we go from being able to do this to <laughs> so we all turn to stone. And the mm. reason for that mm. is our immune system responding to these environmental toxins. Well, I think this goes along with this elastic fiber comparison that, that we're going we're gonna to put on screen for our viewers right now, Douglas. So you can explain what, what this is about, okay? We're looking at, on, on the one side, the fibers look nice and smooth and elastic, and the other side, they look all frayed. Paula, this is what aging is all about, and it's the elephant in the room that no one has paid much attention to because until recently, no one could do much about it. This is called elastic fiber. So that's what lets you do this. It's basically in every step you take and every breath you make. Uh, mm -hmm. So it controls your lungs contracting and, and coming in and out. It controls your heart pumping and your arteries being flexible enough to, uh, to carry blood through your system. Uh, as well as all of your tendons. So basically every move you make is controlled by this elastic, uh, which is uh, everywhere in small amounts uh, in your body. And this is really great stuff until you uh, turn about 25 years old, at which point your body stops making it. Hmm. At 25, uh, no, oh, no we're all quite, in trouble. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like no one quite knows why, but that's why at the age of 30, everyone starts feeling a little tired because the stuff is starting to fall apart. Hmm. And the reason that you've never, most people have never heard of this before is because they couldn't do anything about it. They were not able to target the elastic fiber. Now I've got some good news, finally. And the good news is that actually a way has been discovered to not only target this damaged elastic fiber, but also to restore it and to reverse the effects of damage on it. It's hugely exciting. 
And uh, a lot of this technology was developed in two places. One was Australia, and the other was at Clemson University in South Carolina by Professor Naren uh, Vivahari. And I have been working very closely with him to actually uh, scale up this technology. And um, we have proof of concept that this elastic fiber uh, can be restored and repaired, especially in cardiovascular disease, for the first time. And we're hoping to bring this into the clinic within the next few years. Okay, so um, Douglas, I, I do need you to explain this within the minute about what you're talking about. As far as, is this a medicine? Is it a therapy? Is it an exercise, an injection? What? Well, oddly enough, it's a nutraceutical. It's called a polyphenol. It's the stuff that you find in berries and grapes and red wine. And uh, polyphenols, actually, it was discovered many years ago, are capable of triggering the elastic to repair itself and start new uh, 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 cross-linking. So that has been the discovery, is, is a, a chemical which actually uh, sparks the elastin to repair itself. And it's delivered by an infusion and it, it, the, 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 the way it gets to the elastic is it's targeted with an antibody that is specific for that damaged elastic. Wow. So that's how it works. It's pretty high tech, but the beauty of it is we already have proof of concept that it really works far better than anything that has been tried before. And that's not the only thing either. I mean, there are short-term things that people can do with these polyphenols. Uh, there are different foods, and uh, that's, you know, part of that is described on the website. Um, so, but this, this nano targeting of the elastic, that's really the key to the whole wow. thing. All right. Wow, Douglas, that's, it is fascinating. We have uh, on screen right now, natureoflongevity.com is where people can go. You mentioned the website. There's your book, which is uh, in, entitled the same thing. And um, let's uh, maybe visit again sometime and we'll, uh, we'll keep this updated for folks. Okay. Yeah, let's do that because there's a whole lot more to epic genetics that wow. uh, can be really interesting for people. And yeah, let's do it again. All right. Love it. D Douglas, thank you so much.